All right, Johnny Bravo, I'm back with another tutorial here for animation methods. And today we are going to learn how to check this guy out right here. Boom. Just the guy going up. So, in this example, I'm going to show you just the guy standing up and I'm going to show you a before and after right now, but right now I'm going to uh I'm going to show you how to do some follow through on the character which a lot of you uh, who are beginning to understand animation you know how to set keyframes and how to get the character to move but now you don't know how to take your animations and add follow through which is like taking your animation to uh, another step further so this is what we're going to work with but this is not going to be our final result so the guy on the left is just uh, both of them are starting, you know, bent, and then they just go uh, upright. So I'm going to show you what the after will look like. So this is going to be the after result that we're going to get. So this is the original one, the guy on the left, just, you know, it goes from one pose and then it hits standing up pose. So those are just two quick poses that we have here. Uh, as opposed to the guy on the right, this guy on the right has, I think, about four poses so he goes down uh, he goes back and forward I think it's just three poses but we'll take a look at how we can get this type of uh, follow through in your animation so let's just jump right in here so I already have Maya and I have the scene set up for us so I'm going to show you how I do follow through in characters and how you guys can use follow through in your guys' uh, animation. But if you want to learn how I animate and a whole bunch of tips and tricks, check out my website, Animation Methods. I have two books now available for rigging. If you want to learn how to add joints and controllers to your model, let's say you already created a character, then all you have to do is rig it. But this book here, um, I talk about how you guys are gonna be able to get a job and start working in the animation industry so I have a lot of good tips not just about how to animate and how to do facial animation and lip syncing but how you guys can can jump right in and, and get your first job and even how I did it so I talk about a lot of my personal experience and you know how much you guys can start earning so let's take a look at this file so the guy on the left I created a button here it says left that'll select the entire left character and I did the same thing here RT this one's for the right character so this selects this character and then I have the dope sheet uh, here on my shelf so if you don't know where the dope sheet is you go to windows animation dope sheet and if you want to add it to your shelf just hold control shift and click on this and it'll appear here on your shelf so this is what the dope sheet looks like all right so we're gonna talk a little bit about this all right so if you look at both of them both characters are moving the exact same way the only thing I did is I copied and pasted the animation over to the guy on the right so they start like this at frame 1 and then at frame 18 they just stand back up and the way I did that was I selected this controller the body control and then I selected the stomach control and then the chest controller here and then the head controller so once I selected these four controls one two three four I just rolled them like this so I set a keyframe here and then I set another keyframe when he's standing up and that's how I got him to stand up and I did the exact same thing to this guy so let's talk about how we can begin to um, offset the keyframes on this guy so that we can get that follow through motion now, a lot of people sometimes confuse it with overlapping action or they'll call it drag I've known uh, this type of technique as drag so what you end up doing is you dragging or you even lag sometimes people call it lagging you lag keyframes behind so that you get the the hip will come up first and then the stomach will come up a little bit later and then the chest comes up a lot later and then 
the head comes at the very end that's how you start getting that smooth follow through motion so I'm going to show you how to do that so very quickly uh, what I like to do is just select the keyframes that I'm going to be offsetting so if I select the entire character and I look at the dope sheet the dope sheet shows you all the keyframes on the body control so you can see here I have the knee controller and I have two keyframes one at frame one and then the other one at frame 18 I have my other knee controller shoulder control the wrist control so every little part of your character controller is named out here on the left side and all your keyframes are over here on the right side so it's very easy to to look at this and say oh, okay I have a, a keyframe uh, here on the body control I have a keyframe over here I have a key frame. so it's very simple and this is your regular individual keyframes down here so you can actually click and drag on these now if you look up here on the blue the blue says just dope sheet summary this is your your master so if you select the blue ones it'll actually select the entire keyframes on all of your body and then you can actually just let's say I wanted to grab this one and offset my timing I can start adjusting timing here so that's another way to do it if you don't want to adjust your timing through the timeline here so this is what we're gonna do since I have let me select the right character since I have all the keyframes starting down here and then ending up here I want to drag the keyframes from the hip from the stomach chest and head so I'm gonna select them in that order I'm gonna select the body control this this torso I'm sorry the the hip controller and then I'm gonna select the stomach and then the chest controller and then lastly the head controller and then if you look here on your dope sheet we only have those four body parts selected. I have the body which is uh, the hips. I have this one which is the stomach. You can see torso FK1 and then torso FK2 would be the chest and then lastly I have the head. So what I want to do is I want to select just from I'm gonna leave the this one right here is whoops just this top one is uh, the hips so I'm just gonna select from down here so I'm only selecting right now the from the stomach upwards and then I'm gonna lag these behind so everything from the stomach and upward will get lagged behind and then I'm gonna do the same thing but now I'm just gonna hold control and release this stomach keyframes so now the stomach is not selected now it's only the torso and then the head so then you middle mouse click and drag to the right to drag them behind and then stop there and then I'm gonna offset just the head so if you look here it says head IK control again middle mouse click and drag it to lag it even further so then what happens here if I create a little play blast here so just right click on your timeline go to play blast option box I'm gonna create an AVI and then I like to select MS cram for compression just so that the the video file isn't so high and then I'm gonna leave it from window you can adjust your quality here and then your your scale how big or small you want the window but I'm gonna leave it like that and just make a play blast and if you want to save it you can click save to file and then browse where you want to save it but I'm not gonna save it right now and just hit play blast and then let's check out what happens here and this is what what the offset on the right character just let that run through and then you get a quick video here now you can already see that it's starting to look a lot better than the character on the left and this is how I start creating my my follow through 
and then you can start adjusting a lot of your poses here usually what I like to do with the follow through is I do this at the very end once I have all of my poses for the character and even the timing is down and it's working correctly then lastly what I'll do is I'll go into the dope sheet and then that's where I'll start offsetting a lot of my keyframes so you can see here it still doesn't look quite right like in the other video that I showed you he goes a little bit back and then forward on this one he's just going up and stop so I'm gonna show you that video again here uh, if you look here he goes back and forward so he goes up back forward up back forward so that's the type of subtlety that you want to start getting into your animation so again if I select the right character here go to the dope sheet you can actually move these back line them up so I'm gonna undo what I just did then I'm gonna start adding more poses so just very quickly and easily I'm gonna go to say frame 24 I'm just guessing here and then I'm going to grab well actually at 18 I can probably overshoot him so I can grab stomach chest and then the head have him go back a little bit I could even do it in another frame. Now I'm going to stick to my 24. So I'm going to have him shoot back a little bit. Something like that. So he goes up and back. Up, back. And then here's a neat little trick you guys can use. If you want to copy a keyframe, instead of clicking on that frame, right clicking, doing copy, and then you go to that frame you want, and then right click paste and you do paste that takes a, a quite a lot of steps so a very quick technique that I like to use is select all the controllers you want you go to that frame that you want to copy and paste so in this case at 18 he's standing upright and then at 24 he goes back and then I want to copy this frame at 18 and paste it at 34 so what I can do is go to frame 18 the one you want to copy and then if you middle mouse click and drag on your timeline watch I'm dragging on the timeline but the character is not moving you notice he's not being animated so then you can just go to any frame that you want to paste it so I'm gonna to go to frame 34 release and then just hit S to set a keyframe and now if you just do a regular left click and click and drag now you start seeing the animation right so that's a pretty cool technique that you can use to copy and paste uh, keyframes so now if I scrub through this he goes up back and forward again let's test this out by doing a little play blast here now it's still not gonna look that realistic because we haven't offset the keyframe so it's still very robotic everything goes up together and then forward together so it's still it doesn't look quite fluid now you can say it looks a little bit better than the character on the left but still it's not it's not very very fluid and realistic so let's go ahead and do that again I'm going to select the stomach controller the torso and then the head controller open my dope sheet and very quickly I'm gonna grab all this maybe a couple of keyframes to the right maybe three and then I'm gonna release I'm gonna deselect by holding control click and drag over the stomach and then move just the upper parts of the body so this is the torso and the head so I'm gonna offset that couple of frames maybe again three three or four and then release the torso by holding control and then again just on the head section here I'm gonna click and drag the head and offset it and then minimize this and then let's do a little play bass play bastard 
and then let's check a look so this is how you guys need to be thinking now just very subtle motions that make your animation a lot a lot better so now if we take a look this is how you start adding that that realism to your characters and I haven't really animated the arms but when you start animating the arms then it really starts coming to life and his facial expression you know isn't that you know, it doesn't look realistic once you start adding blinks or he's talking or he's saying something or maybe he turns his head that's when you really start getting a lot of personality out of your character so this is what I want to show you just very quickly how you can offset some of your keyframes and you still want to keep this clean so that's why I said you do the offsets uh, you want to offset your keyframes at the very end because if you select your entire character on the right side you look at your dope sheet you're gonna start getting a lot of this messy keyframe so you want to avoid this early on alright so if you start getting all this funky stuff here you don't know what's going on here uh, make sure you have all of your poses so you saw how I laid out my poses first we had him go you know he was forward he went back and then he went back forward again so I had my poses I had my timing which look okay and then at the very end that's when I went ahead and I offset the keyframes because if you look here on your timeline you're getting a crazy load amount of keyframes down here as compared to the guy on the left if I select the character on the left it's very clean right very clean if I give this to another animator I'm sure he can he can take this and start posing him out how he wants and then he'll make it look more like the character on the right because it's if I look at the dope sheet it's very clean this is what we mean by you know having your your keyframes organized so I talk a lot about this on my on the book if you guys are serious about you know a lot of the tips and tricks um, the 12 principles of animation which is you know a lot of the stuff that I'm covering right now so you can check out the book here um, I talk about let me see I have the demo reel so your DVD which is more important than than your resume a lot of people think oh it's okay I can just get my resume and have a lot of small experience that I've been doing and then you know you think you're gonna get a job with your resume but the reality is your DVD is what's gonna get you that job um, I talk about money a lot of you guys I know you're you're coming out of school and you're worried about how much money you're gonna make you know can you can you buy the car that you want can you rent an apartment on your own so you know I talk about the money that you might make coming out of school and once you progress how much more money you can make the potentials you guys have your work which determines how much money you make um, I have a lot of a lot of information here so if you guys are serious uh, check out the book it's also available on Amazon so here's 12 principles of animation you have squash and stretch anticipation staging straight ahead here's uh, what I'm talking about follow through and overlapping action and then you have you know you have a lot more uh, principles that you guys need to be aware of I talk about eye blinks you know jaw controllers a lot of the planning you know the graph editor and how to use that so if you guys are interested um, so here's an image that I posted not too long ago on the on Facebook which is how to do a run cycle and I do a little sample animation so you guys can see how I go through the process but I even have lip syncing and all that stuff here for you guys so a lot of good stuff check it out and learn it because you guys have a lot of competition up there if you guys create stuff like this guy on the left you know you're probably not gonna get your first job you're not gonna get your dream job so you guys need to know how to how to stand apart from the competition so you start getting that fluid motion you know the directors or whoever's reviewing your demo reel will look at it and go wow this guy has that subtle motion that looks pretty cool and looks more realistic so that's what I'm trying to give you uh, that knowledge that tips and and how I do my workflow and when I'm animating so I'm, I hope this stuff helps you out and I'll catch you on the next tutorial